going on everybody hope you guys are enjoying your Saturdays we are going to kick off this Saturday night with a little bit of Tommy Buns Tom Segura completely normal the first 48 bit um, Tom Segura is hilarious if you guys get a chance go check out his Netflix specials they are on there right now he's got three of them uh, yeah we are going to get this started don't forget to subscribe down below smash that like button and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. God, it's so weird. People, people ask me, create like I get asked fucking travel advice from strangers. Can we just break down how crazy that is? Like people come up to me and they're like, "Hey, you travel a lot, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, where should I go? <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know you, man. <laughs> You ask travel advice to people who know you intimately. They know you well. They can guide you based on what they know about you. I mean, you don't ask strangers <laughs> dining advice, right? Because you're like, hey, I, well, where should I eat tonight? I know I've never met you before in my life, but do you think you could give me a recommendation? Uh, yeah, you should try this dim sum place. And, but then that person might go, oh, I hate the Asian world. And you're like, <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> like, yeah, I killed like four of them. Like, what are you, like a serial killer or something? Yeah. <laughs> now you're in an awkward conversation with a serial killer. <laughs> Here's all I'm saying. I can't tell you where to go. I can tell you where not to go. Wherever they film the first 48 on A&E. <laughs> oh, if you're not familiar with the show, here's what it is. Camera crews follow real homicide detectives for the first 48 hours after a murder. And the reason that that time distinction is so important is that after 48 hours, uh, they give up on that murder. <laughs> They're like, that's some old shit. What do you want to do today? Why is You're like, how about you keep trying to solve that murder, man? That shit happened on Monday. It's Wednesday. We're not going to solve that shit. There are so many amazing moments on that show. So many. A lot of the episodes take a similar path. I'm blown away, first of all, at how many times there's a witness to a murder. It's crazy. I always thought murders happened in dark alleys. Nobody saw shit. No. Every other episode, they're like, you see that shit? And the guy's like, I saw that shit, yeah. <laughs> Where? Right fucking here. <laughs> really, I was standing here, and then he killed that dude there. What he looked like? He was like five two uh, to six eight, something like that. And they're like, "That's the fucking description you're gonna give us?" Uh huh. Anything else about him? Yeah, he had ears too. Thanks, man. No problem. They still will sketch that shit out. I don't know. And they show it to people. Do you know this guy? And everyone's like, "Nah." But then one guy will be like, "Yeah." That's cricket right there. You're like, oh shit. You know him? I've been on cricket 27 years. What's his real name? Man, that's just cricket. I don't even know. Stop being white and weird. That's a perfect fucking impression, and you know exactly who that was, okay? Yeah, it's a black guy, and he's wearing a wife beater, and he's got on a dirty hat, and he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. He looks like he's about 33, but you find out he's 76 years old. <laughs> and he speaks super aggressively to the cops. Like, I've been out here for a minute! And they're like, all right, all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? He came through with jellyfish last week. They were looking for some smoke. And they're like, all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They always cut to the whitest detective from that guy, too. They cut from that guy to the guy who's like, I don't think he's going to help us out. <laughs> We're going to have to find Cricket on our own. <laughs> that show has the best moment in television. It's the most dramatic thing you could ever see. Because it's real life, and that is the interrogation. The interrogation is amazing. Because here's the thing about drama. If you want to have a great dramatic moment, raise the stakes. Guess what? 
There's no higher stakes than somebody being questioned about taking somebody else's life. It's inherently compelling television. It is also super serious. But the detectives insist on using the suspect's street name, so the whole thing turns into a fucking cartoon. Like, <laughs> they're literally like, your life is on the line. We need to talk to you. Why don't you have a seat, uh, little stank? Why don't you sit down for a second? <laughs> did you or did you not know Dookie Shoes? I don't know no Dookie Shoes. I got a picture of you hanging out with Dookie Shoes. I mean, I've seen them. I don't know. And then they'll throw one bit of evidence against the wall, hoping it'll solve the case. They'll be like, well, we were talking to uh, Naameen, and he said that you were at the 7-Eleven last week. And he'll be like, yeah, I shot him in the face. And you're like, God damn, really? That's all it took to break you? Dude, lie. Lie for longer. <laughs> you can kill somebody, you can't lie for 10 fucking minutes about it? For real. Like, dudes will break on anything. They'll be like, we heard you had on a blue shirt last Friday. Yeah, I stabbed those four people. <laughs> Dude, a lot of people have blue shirts, man. You can still get out of this. Here's what I've learned watching that show, okay? Lawyer up. You can't handle that shit. Everybody's like, I'm gonna talk to the cops and straighten this whole thing out. You're gonna do 25 to life. Have fun with that, man. <laughs> Nobody asked for a lawyer. I've seen 300 people get interrogated on this show. Two of them were like, can I talk to a lawyer? And both times the detectives were like, fuck! <laughs> and then at the end of those episodes that said on the screen, all charges against Tayshawn were dropped. <laughs> or Jim, pick a fucking name. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's no gyms on the show. I've seen every episode, and none start with, hey Bryce, can we talk to you for a second, man? <laughs> Where were you last Friday? I was over at Tanner's house. <laughs> then Skylar had a party, so we went over there. Uh, and then we picked the up Connor and we had pancakes. <laughs> Sorry, bro. The detective, bro, bro. Tom Segura is great, man. Yeah, once again, man, go check out his specials on Netflix. Give me a subscribe. Subscribe right there, man. It is. See, I always get backwards. It is right here in this corner. Right here. Bam. Bow. Subscribe to that shit. Give it a like. I will see you guys later tonight.